peacock bass heads getting nibbled on. I'd get them. <laughs> oh, real one? Oh, there's something on there. Nice. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! The boat is leaving the, the boat shore. Is Paul <laughs> oh, I'll hang on to the boat. <laughs> morning, river rats. It is another hazy, muggy, beautiful morning here in the Amazon rainforest. And the plan is to do a little catfishing in the morning and chase some arowanas in the afternoon. But that's the thing down here. You never know what's gonna bite, but there's usually always something biting. And we're gonna take them as they come. So let's go. Step one, bait. This is the bait creek. All right, let her rip, man. Oh, there was one. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, missed him. Yep. <laughs> there was like three of them. <laughs> oh, man. I think he might even be a bait size one. Oh, yeah. Oh, stay on. <laughs> we gonna dub? You got grips? He's barely, barely hooked. Oh, oh, oh he's gone. <laughs> you have a follower? He grabbed it when I was getting the grips out for <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, I like, there's a few in there. Come out, come out. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few in there. they're little, they're perfect. There you go. There we go. I didn't. I don't. <laughs> they just make me speechless. Scripts. Okay. Oh, he came out of the grips. Did he really? Yeah. Next one's getting boat flipped, so watch your feet. <laughs> the square bills treated me pretty good, but. I put this spinner on hoping to get some small ones and I'm just not executing on the plan. Oh! Wow, oh. oh, he ripped my hook off. Oh, no way. Is that stock hook? No. no. Oh, he ripped the, the thing from the lure. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's an <laughs> oh wow. 0 for 3 because of peacock bass destruction. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. Yeah, it's a little, a little rowdier sized. I think that was my only spinner. Yeah, I guess my grips are just toast. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's, no, that's a big boy. Not our bait sized one, unfortunately. It's too big. Yeah. yeah. But he's he's fun. Freaking electric. Yeah, they rip good on a medium. Yeah, they also rip your inline spinner to pieces, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> it's a nice one, man. Thank you. What do I do now? Where I have no more spinner. Oh, I do. There's one more in there. Yes. Hopefully they like the silver as much as the chartreuse. The plan was working. The little guys were definitely keying in on the spinner. Oh, yeah. They're just not in the boat, and that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, he does. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, yep. <laughs> I was going to say, that's not a great idea. <laughs> what was the worst that could happen? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think their mouths are, they just engulf it and then... And then let it go. Well, the, the hook can't get to them because they're holding on to it so dang tight. I need the little guy. He's too big. Yep, I needed him. Double. Doubled? Oh, I'm in the stick. Get out. Oh, you can't. I'm in the stick. Get out of the stick. 
Oh, felt something. There we go. Yeah, he'll work. I'm just gonna flip him in the boat. He'll work for cut bait. He's a little big for a live one where we're gonna be fishing. That was the probably one of the more interesting, entertaining times of me not catching a fish. We hand that to Paul. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm in the stick again. <laughs> yep, doubled. He might be, is he too big for the live? Oh, here. It would have been great. <laughs> Why does this bee love me so much right now? Usually I don't come out until this the afternoon. All right, don't freak out. Oh. See. This one is a very interested bee. Oh, he's, look at the humpy on his head. This bee wants to land on me. There's, there's giant river otters over there. Holy crap, there's there's at least five, six, five or six. Of course, Paul spotted them first. Paul, Paul sees everything first. That's pretty sweet. Have you seen those yet? Uh-uh. They like chuff at you. I can kind of hear it. Oh, down they go. Cayman? Oh, there he is. He's sneaky. It's crazy how much he looks like a log, though. All right, catch me a one pounder. I had him. I have nobody to blame but myself for not having a one pound. He got, oh. That one's bigger than a pound. There's about four behind him. <laughs> they'll they'll sit down there and shake their heads and try to like throw it out and then they pull their lives together and <laughs> and then they take it off on a run like that is he gonna jump he's gonna think about jumping you can just let him go paul we picked on him enough Went. To their otter house to do otter things. They're hiding again, Paul. I forgot that caiman was even there. And then I looked over and I'm like, oh yeah, there's a yeah, caiman there. <laughs> well, we're, either way, even if we don't get that little live one, we're catfishing, so it's not yeah. the end of the world. So that's, that's the bait that I'm gonna use. Nice peacock bass head. Connor's going with the uh, fillet. The fillet. Yes. That's the one that's gonna get hit probably. Do you think so? Yeah. This is Paul's super secret red tail spot. He was nice enough to show it to us. So I'm gonna go a little further cause I'll be further down. So I'll, I'll lob it and then you just drop it off the yep. boat. Go ahead and drop. Drag is all the way down and just a little bit more. I'm gonna launch one or try to launch one over there too. And I'll just sit it by you and if it gets bit, you just take it. I don't know if it's far enough, but hopefully. It's so a little depth there, not quite as deep as, probably 25. Hopefully it's deep enough the piranhas don't mess with it. Okay, and we are catfishing. Peacock bass head's getting nibbled on. Should be a, shouldn't be a piranha. 
Probably like a two pound red tail or something like that. There's no way I'd be able to hook him on that, but it wouldn't hurt my feelings to catch one. It'd be pretty cool. I'd get him. <laughs> oh, real one? Oh, there's something on there. Nice. Oh yeah. oh yeah! Oh yeah! The boat is leaving the, the boat shore. Is leaving Paul <laughs> oh, I'll hang on to the boat. <laughs> oh, that was for sure. Yeah, well, I just pecked on it, and then now you quit pecking. All right, Paul's got the boat. <laughs> I don't see your top shot yet. I guess you were a long ways out yeah, there. I was, I was a oh, he's, he's fighting you now. Still don't see your top shot. How long's your it's, top shot? It's shot? short. Oh, there, there it is. is. Piranha bit it in half the other day. They'll do that. They're good at biting things in half. There's the sound. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's see this thing. Oh, there's the bait. Oh, you bad. It's not a bad one. Smoked him, bud, right in the corner. <laughs> Paul calls them the tweeters. I like it. It was piranhas at first. You can see the, the bite marks in the bait. So cool. No slime on those things either. Knock on the head. Yeah. It's crazy. It sounds like an acorn. <laughs> it does sound like an acorn. Paul knows where the fish are. Hold the tail tight. There you go. Nice one, man. Yeah, they, that one not only feels like a football, he looks like a football. He's so fat. <laughs> Give the head a little knock. You can hear. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel bad tapping him on the head, but it is a satisfying sound. Let me get a couple picks for you, too. Sure, yeah. Why not? Bye, amigo. The, oh, the, already ready the tweeter fish. Nice. That boy. Sweet. All right, good way to start. You know how I told you you could have that one if it gets bit? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that was probably a 10 to 15 pound fish, and it fought like a 25 pound anything else. Oh, yeah. What? There's a crab? Crab. Oh, I want to see that. Oh, wow. I didn't know even realize there was crabs here. He's greedy little dude. Seriously, it's a big piece. And that's a fairly substantial sized crab. They got stingrays here too. You just never know, man. Alright, we're gonna... Go catch some more bait. We got two pieces left and on to new catfish water at least for a little bit, a little bit before hopefully air wanted destruction. So what's happening is Connor hooked one and somewhere in this tree, this tree that is covered in spiny vines. There, there, there. And we have bait. Not the live one yet, but definitely have some good cut bait. And I'm busy missing him. Oh, got that one though. Oh, he's got so many with him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there was like six of them. Two little ones. Oh, I kind of want to just throw a spinner in there and get the little one. Come on. Get out of Trying to live chum right now. <laughs> yep, there they are. Oh, oh perfect. Yep. Right they are everywhere in here. In got my live one. Alright, we got that one in here. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Probably just gonna try to unhook him in the water. 
You pretty much want to use grippers for everything here because they'll tear you to pieces. All right, he is gone. Now we can deal with oh, the hooks out on that one. This was immediate wonderful chaos. All right, easy, bud. Lid is on. All right, we got a live peacock. Let's go catfishing. <laughs> Paul's walking around looking for the perfect anchor rock, and we're gonna go try to find a deep hole to drop this big peacock bass down into. I'd be lying if I told you I wasn't pretty jacked about it right now. Looks like a good one to me, Paul. Yep. We go f long ways or short? We go far or we stay close? Um. Yeah, don't, yeah, okay. Well, after a long run, I think we are at the catfish grounds. Paul's rigging up an anchor, and I'm assuming we're just going to drop bait straight down. Pretty excited to put this peacock bass out. I don't even know if live bait's better than cut bait here, but I haven't used much live bait. So that's exciting. All right. Little bud. Good luck. <laughs> He's actually pretty lively. All right, now we wait. Absolutely. The buzzer went off. Paul says lunchtime, and I'm not gonna argue with him. And probably go do some arowana. Well, after a nice long boat ride, I think we are to the Arowana grounds. Connor, do you know, I thought I heard somewhere that Arowana like jump out of the water and eat stuff out of trees. Oh, absolutely. I don't know, they're neat fish and they have definitely the most impressive blow ups of any fish on top waters here and maybe even fight the hardest pound for pound. Is this where they live, Paul? Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nailed it. I was like, I'm gonna wrap it right around that corner there. It's gonna be really nice. I wrapped it around the tree instead. Oh, wait, you have one? No. Oh. Oh, Ooh, I heard it. Bait right there. You can get them in. Sounded like somebody dropped a bowling ball in the water. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. He's not pleased. It's a good bicuda. Yeah, it it's is. Oh, that just T-boned right in his mouth. Yeah. That's probably why it's not jumping. Yeah, he didn't jump. I like how Paul does the old spin move on him. Make him dizzy. <laughs> you feel confident now? Secure grip. Oh, you yeah. you were uh, seemed uncertain. He's slippery. Yeah. Have razor blade teeth. Dare you put your finger in there? I'm good. Uh, maybe, maybe, but okay. Yeah. We'll come back. We, I don't know if we're even gonna have time to catfish. Yeah. We probably won't, right? yeah. We'll put them back. All right, buddy. Bye. Oh. Did you see him follow it, or did he just come out like porpoise underneath of it? Right by the motor? Right by the motor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh. That might be one. I don't know what that is. That was cool. That's all I know. Kinda, kinda wicked, yeah. Talk to me, Goose. 
Yeah, something on Prana. <laughs> oh, it was a big Prana. Nice and uneventful. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but I mean, sick of Prana. And that, it's funny how that works. Oh, yeah. by Kuda, right there. Oh, Watch look out. At that. Yeah, go get him. The little fish chasing it around. That was an impressive blow up for a prana. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's something therapeutic about floating down a river and casting. Oh, he was something was in there. Have you seen any, Paul? Mm. Me either. Is neat. Might be my eyes playing tricks on me though, who knows. Oh, oh that's a bicuda. Oh. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah. Oh he's still on it. But come on, come on. I hear him something blowing up behind this. Oh, Bicuda? Yep. Yeah, Bicuda. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he has that down the hatch. Oh. Yeah, he did. Holy cow. Their body is so abrasive. Look how he ate it. Oh, I thought that was blood. Oh, back oh, in the water. Back Hang on. Oh my, I shredded that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just straight ribboned it. See you, Bicuda. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> so we have a caiman coming at my top water. Just another day in the Amazon. See if he'll chase it. It's over here, bud. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, this is bad timing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna set himself up now. <laughs> At least he's not like 12 feet long. He's only six, maybe seven. That is one of the coolest things about this trip is you could you could catfish, you could do this the whole time, you could throw deep divers for Payara the whole time, fish for Arapaima the whole time, or do it all. I kind of like to do it all. The arowana hiding, Paul? Hiding in bush. See if I can get it under the bush. Oh, great. Now we have another caiman. Yeah. I'm not going to let him eat it if anybody watching this is wondering. All right, there's arowanas here. We definitely spooked a few. I don't see them. Any oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's a nice one. <laughs> Losing his mind. Yep. Yes. Oh, he turned right. Oh, <laughs> it's making me sound stupid. Well, it's pretty normal, I guess. Paul's like, get him over here. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> oh wow. They're everywhere, dude. Dude, throw it over there. He was out in the middle of nowhere. Paul's making him dizzy. You know it's a serious fish when Paul's got to make him dizzy. Dude, nice good. snag. They do circles good. What a freaking eat. Oh, no. Did you know? Uh, do you want him for dinner? Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose him, huh? <laughs> he 
These things are awesome. They smoke top water and Paul is very excited for us to have them for dinner. I don't know, I want to catch like a hundred more. <laughs> Good eye, Paul. I think I'm getting better. I even spotted one of them, one of the 500 there. I think there's more here or go back up? Okay, thank you. Thanks. We were pretty loud. I think these guys actually are kind of spooky. Where'd they go? Do you see them anymore, Paul? They hide in bush. or something. Oh, Baikuda. Oh, this is intense. <laughs> Get him, he might come back. Oh, that's uh, oh yes, arowana for sure. Oh, <laughs> but that's the best part. I know, but I want it. You know who probably wants him more? Yeah. Paul. <laughs> Jim. Jim will be so he's proud. trying to swim backwards. Do you see that? Yeah, he's, he's like flexing his tail. He's yeah, like, that's trippy. Don't go that way, man. He's determined. He's probably hitting it in reverse under the boat. It's crazy how strong they are in reverse. Yeah. That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> Make him dizzy, Paul. Paul, you're being good tonight. I think everybody is now eating good tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Atta boy. You even got, like, he chased it for, or he just, like, was like a snake behind it. Yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, he's kind of a snake-like fish. That mouth, they just come up and hit like nothing. Yeah, else, so. it's like a hinge. It's insane. Best topwater bite there is here, I think. And you could fit a monkey in his mouth. You could. <laughs> cool, man. Dinner served. Dinner is served. All right, I'll get your picture here. <laughs> Paul says I'm going to put him to sleep. <laughs> Thought I saw so. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh eat it, eat it, eat it. Got him. <laughs> Is that a bicuda? Nope. Nope, right there. Oh. Little one, maybe. I don't know. He's nice. I like him. Oh, he just T-boned it. Oh, he's trying to back up. Oh, he's off. That's okay. Oh, I just FG got caught and backlashed me. I'm waiting for that, that blow where it looks like somebody dropped a bowling ball in the water. Oh, what was that? There's two. Are they hungry though? Oh, nice! Oh, look how far that lure flew. Oh, that's funny. Ooh. Oh! He raced out of there like he was supercharged. I think there's, is that a caiman back there? Like a big one? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I saw him coming. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I suck. <laughs> oh, I did. Like the, oh. Oh, that caiman? Oh, 
that's probably a good thing. You, you probably weren't going to get him either way. Oh, God, that one. Oh, it was a Bicuda. Oh, I'm fouled. Well, that was neat. She got that. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of neat. Where's that Cayman? <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, they fight so hard. And it's, I can't get over how they try to swim backwards. Yeah, that is bizarre. Dizzy fish. <laughs> Chris isn't even done fighting yet. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the boat and he doesn't even know what's right in for him. <laughs> you keeping him, Paul? Or letting him. <laughs> no, you you can just Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're eating. <laughs> eating good. <laughs> ah, stock in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, rats, we got a, a little bit of a front coming through. Uh, Connor's going to hopefully wrap up with his another Arapaima. I can't string words together. That was so much fun. <laughs> uh, uh, either way, thanks for taking time to watch. It means a ton, for real. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. There's arowana blowing up all around us, and I can't concentrate. Um, yeah, hope you catch a giant.